En la clase de hoy vamos a ver el baño y los artículos que están en el baño. Este baño tiene todas las cosas de lujo en el hotel. Así que este es un baño en la habitación del hotel. Vamos a empezar con unos visuales. Tenemos un vocabulario con los nombres de cada foto. Después de eso vamos a hacer un ejercicio donde vemos unas oraciones completas que son ejemplos, unos ejemplos como peticiones del huésped o afirmaciones del bellboy. Todo es acerca del baño. Después vamos a hacer un ejercicio de escuchar, donde escuchamos al huésped hablando con, acerca de artículos del hotel en el baño. Y lo vamos a hacer todo en inglés. This class is the bathroom, bathroom and porter. In this class, the focus, the focus of this class is describing a bathroom. Describing a bathroom, showing a guest to the room. First, we're going to do an exercise, a vocabulary exercise, with the different objects in the bathroom. Different objects in the bathroom. Look at this list of objects and label the pictures. To start, next, we're going to do an exercise with sentences, complete sentences. We have 10 different sentences. And to finish, we're going to do a listening and pronunciation exercise. The objects in the bathroom. We have shampoo, tissues, light switch, the trash bin, the shower, soap, mirror, the wash bin, wash basin, or the sink, the sink. In United States, we call it the sink. We have the water taps, toilet paper, shaver socket, towels, Now, look at these sentences. Yes, ma'am, all the doubles have a bath. Can you send up some more towels, please? Some of the single rooms have a shower only. There's a light switch next to the mirror, sir. Yes, sir, there's always plenty of hot water. Could we have some more shampoo and soap, please? Make sure there's always plenty of toilet paper. We keep the extra tissues in the cupboard under the sink under the sink. There should be a bathrobe just behind the door, ma'am. Don't forget to empty the bin every time. We're going to use these sentences for some of these pictures and some of these pictures. First, let's practice with there is or there are. There is and there are. With these pictures. In your notebook, let's organize the vocabulary. Write the vocabulary in your notebook. A. B, C, D, all the way to letter N, letter N. 
For example, shampoo, letter I, shampoo. Shampoo, right here. Tissues, tissues. In the bathroom, in the bathroom. Letter J, tissues. Tissue. Shampoo. Light switch, letter K, light switch. Light switch. Letter L is a light socket, light socket or electricity socket, electricity socket. Okay, I got light switch, I got the shaver socket, light socket. Tissues, shampoo, oh, right here, mirror, mirror, letter H, mirror, letter B, shower, Letter A, bath, jacuzzi bath, bath. Letter C is the sink, soap. water faucet toilet paper towels bathrobe and the trash bin Okay, now I got all of my vocabulary for today's class. This is the list for the vocabulary in the bathroom. Now, let's practice because some names are different in the United States. We got shampoo, letter I, tissues, letter J, letter J, tissues. We got trash bin, letter N, the trash bin right here. We got the light switch, letter K, light switch. The shower, letter B, letter B, the shower, soap, letter, uh, A, B, C, letter D, letter D is the soap, 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 soap. the mirror is letter H right here. Letter H, the mirror. The sink, letter C, right here, the sink. 
sink. The sink has hot and cold water. Hot and cold water. Letter E. Letter E. Hot and cold water. Toilet paper. Toilet paper is letter F. Right here. Light socket. Light socket to charge my cell phone or charge my shaver. Light socket, letter L. The towels, letter G. Letter G over here, the towels. The bath, letter A, the bath. And the bathrobe, letter M. Let's practice with there is, there are. So, we're gonna say, the example is, in the bathroom, in the bathroom, there is a bath. In the bathroom, there is a shower, or two showers, there are two showers. In the bathroom, there is a sink. In the bathroom, there is soap. In the bathroom, there are hot and cold water faucets. In the bathroom, there is toilet paper. In the bathroom, there are towels. In the bathroom, there is a mirror. In the bathroom, there is shampoo. In the bathroom, there are tissues. In the bathroom, there is a light switch. In the bathroom, there is a electricity socket, light socket. In the bathroom, there are three bathrobes. In the bathroom, there are two trash bins, trash bins. So, let's practice with there is and there are. Let's practice with there. Tiene que ver con esta foto. Vamos a ver la foto del baño de la habitación del hotel. Y tenemos unas oraciones que nos hablan acerca de cosas en el baño. En este ejercicio, las oraciones, tenemos algunas. El recepcionista hablando con el huésped. Receptionist con el huésped, con el guest. Tenemos otras. El guest, el huésped, hablando con la recepcionista. Y tenemos una, el supervisor de housekeeper, hablando con las de limpieza, con las maids. Cuando es recepcionista a guest, podemos ponerle RG. Cuando es del guest al recepcionista, Podemos ponerle GR. Cuando es de la housekeeper a la maid, le podemos poner HM. Y lo vamos a hacer todo en inglés. Exercise 2. Read these sentences. Who, who would say them? Receptionist to guest. Guest to receptionist. Housekeeper to maid. Right, RG, receptionist to guest, or GR, guest to receptionist, or HM, housekeeper to maid, to each sentence. The first one is the example. The first one has been done for you. Receptionist to guest. Let's read the sentences. Number one says, Yes, ma'am. All the doubles have a bath. The receptionist to the guest. Receptionist 
to guest. Yes, ma'am, all the doubles have a bath. Number two, can you send up some more towels, please? Can you send up some more towels, please? Number three, some of the single rooms have a shower only. Number four, there's a light switch next to the mirror, sir. Number five, yes, sir. There's always plenty of hot water. Number six. Could we have some more shampoo and soap, please? Number seven. Make sure there's always a there's always plenty of toilet paper. Number eight. We keep the extra tissues in the cupboard under the sink. Number nine, there should be a bathrobe just behind the door, ma'am. And number 10, don't forget to empty the bin every time. Okay, you're going to repeat the sentences in your notebook. Put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in your notebook. And let's put receptionist to the guest. For example, number one, number one, yes, ma'am. Oh, is the receptionist. Receptionist speaking with the guest. All the double rooms. All the double suites have a bath, a bathtub, bathtub, the bathtub. All the doubles have a bathtub, the double suites. Is the receptionist, the receptionist talking to the guest, receptionist to guest, RG. RG, receptionist to guest. Now, let's review, let's review number two, number two. Can you send up some more towels, please? Some more towels. This is the guest, guest to receptionist. Yes. GR, guest to receptionist. Number three. Some of the single rooms have a shower only. Receptionist to guest. Receptionist to the guest. Some of the single rooms have a shower only, no bath. Number four, there's a light switch next to the mirror, sir. The bellboy to the guest or the receptionist to the guest. RG, there's a light switch next to the mirror. So in this exercise, we have all the vocabulary for the bathroom. Uh, towels, shower, light switch. Number five, yes, sir. There's always plenty of hot water. Plenty of hot water, plenty of hot water. Receptionist to the guest, RG. Number six, could we have some more shampoo and soap, please? Oh, this is the guest, guest to receptionist. More, more shampoo and soap, please. Yes, absolutely. Number seven, make sure 
There's always plenty of toilet paper. Hey, make sure, please. Guest to the receptionist. GR. We keep the extra tissues in the cupboard under the sink. Extra tissues. Extra tissues in the cupboard under the sink. Extra tissues. Number eight, number eight. We, we is the receptionist. Receptionist to guest, RG. Receptionist to guest. Number nine. There should be a bathrobe just behind the door, ma'am. A bathrobe just behind the door, ma'am. Receptionist. To guest. And number 10. Don't forget to empty the bin every time. Maybe the housekeeper. To the maid. The housekeeper. The trash bin. Now look. We have. Light switch. Hot water. Shampoo and soap. Toilet paper. Tissues sink bathrobe trash bin let's put right here trash bin trash bin ahora que ya practicamos las oraciones vamos a sacar el vocabulario de los objetos que están en la habitación y vamos a decir qué letra o señalar en esta foto dónde está el objeto de cual está hablando el guest o la recepcionista o la housekeeper tenemos varias letras vamos a organizar las letras en nuestro cuaderno desde la A A B C y lo vamos a hacer todo en inglés. Tenemos hasta la letra F. Y tenemos unos que no tienen letra. Así que también esos también vamos a ponerlos. Vamos a ver cuáles tenemos aquí. Y lo vamos a hacer todo en inglés. Listening and pronunciation. Look at this illustration of a bathroom. This illustration of a bathroom number one a bath number two towels number three shower number four light switch and mirror number five hot water number six shampoo and soap Number seven, toilet paper. Number eight, tissues and sink. Number nine, bathrobe. And number ten, trash bin. Okay, letter A. Let's see right here. The illustration, the picture. Letter A. Letter A. Light switch. Light switch. Mirror. Mirror. Letter B, I have soap. Letter C, trash bin. Letter E, tissues. Hot water. 
we have towels right here towels and the bathrobe bath robe Oh, letter D right here, bathroom. For example, number one, yes, ma'am, all the doubles have a bath. Oh, and this is the bath, bathtub, right here, bathtub. So this is number one, bathtub. Yes, ma'am, all the suites have a bathtub. Number two, towels, right here, this is number two. You can practice, you can practice at home and repeat and repeat for homework like this. Number two, towels. Can you send up some more towels, please? the towels red red towels number three some of the single rooms have a shower only oh a shower right here a shower number three number four light switch here's the light switch number five Yes, sir, there's always plenty of hot water. This is number five, plenty of hot water. Plenty of hot water. Number six, could we have some more shampoo and soap? Right here, number six, the shampoo and soap. Number six, toilet paper. Oh, here's the toilet paper right here. Toilet paper. The sink. This is the sink. The bathrobe. This is the bathrobe. And the trash bin. The trash bin. Trash bin. Trash bin. Trash bin. Trash bin. Now complete these sentences using the following words. We have mirror, tap, extra tissues, shaver socket, bathrobe, bin, shower, soap. Trash bin. Oh, this is the sink right here. Sink. 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 And towels. 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 Number one. We keep extra tissues and toilet paper here in the cover. Number two, the light switch is on the wall next to the mirror. next to the mirror number three the toilet paper oh we don't have toilet paper the 
the light switch, the light socket is here under the under the sink number four there's a hot and cold water mixer it's a hot tap Hot and cold water tap for the shower. Number five, the bathrobe is here behind the door and the towels are on the rack over by the bath. Always put plenty of soap Soap and shampoo. Soap and shampoo. Now listen, listen and check. Listen and check your answers. Ready? 4.2. Exercise 3. We keep extra tissues and toilet paper here in the cupboard. The shaver socket is on the wall next to the mirror. The bin is here under the wash basin. There's a hot and cold mixer tap for the shower. The bathrobe is here behind the door and the towels are on the rack over the bath. Always put plenty of soap and shampoo here near the taps. Four. Can you describe the room, please? Certainly, sir. It's a large sunny... Three point seven. Exercise two. Being clear and polite. We can give you a very quiet room on the top floor. Everything you three. Four point two. Exercise four. Being clear and polite. We keep extra tissues and toilet paper here in the cupboard. We keep extra tissues and toilet paper here in the cupboard. The shaver socket is on the wall next to the mirror. The light socket is on the wall next to the mirror. The bin is here under the wash basin. The trash bin is here under the sink. There's a hot and cold mixer tap for the shower. There's a hot and cold faucet for the shower. The bathrobe is here behind the door and the towels are on the rack over the bath. The bathrobe is here behind the door and the towels are on the rack over the bath. Always put plenty of soap and shampoo here, near the taps. Always put plenty of soap and shampoo here, near the taps. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Fantastic, fantastic.